It's often called La Isla del Encanto, the Island of Enchantment. With its sandy beaches, tropical breeze, and vibrant colors, it's no wonder why anyone who steps foot on the island of Puerto Rico becomes enchanted. But the beauty and the location from which it comes has a price. In the last two decades, hurricanes have devastated the island with powerful winds and rain. And in 2017, Puerto Rico felt the full wrath of Hurricane Irma and Maria, completely decimating the island and the island's electrical grid. The aftermath left millions without power for months at a time, and even today, some are still without. The worst thing about power going out is that you get used to it. It becomes usual to not having power. We just want things to get fixed, finally. So when the next hurricane comes or something bad happens, we're able to fix it as soon as possible instead of waiting months after a difficult storm. Outdated electrical infrastructure, unable to withstand tropical storms, have caused the people of Puerto Rico to suffer regular mass power outages throughout recent decades. And after Hurricane Maria, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico decided it was finally time for a change. And so in June of 2021, Luma Energy replaced the 80-year-old Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority, or PREPA, as the island's power company, responsible for power distribution, power transmission, and most importantly, modernizing the entire power infrastructure. Luma is a joint venture between Quanta and ADCO, and it's here to help the people of Puerto Rico rebuild this island. Luma was given a 15-year timeline to complete the monumental task of supplying the island with power its people can count on. Naturally, they called on the most qualified electrical workers on the planet for help, the IBEW. The IBEW is here for one reason, to make sure the workers on this island are well represented, well trained, and willing and able to make sure that when these folks need their power, they get their power. The main role here in Puerto Rico is basically to change lives. In Puerto Rico, over 80% of the population has generators. We're down here to change that. The main goal for the IBW Local 222 and myself personally as business manager, every person that's working on Luma's property, every one of them have the right to be represented and that's what we look to do as IBW as a whole. Florida's IBEW Outside Construction Local 222 has partnered with Luma to work alongside their local workforce and to train them on becoming top qualified journeyman linemen. It's so important to make sure that the linemen here working for Luma, we will continue to provide them this upskill training and get them to a position of journeyman status so that they can work anywhere in the United States. La IBW y Luma pues están capacitando a los empleados puertorriqueños en lo que posiblemente les faltaba, pues lo hacen con mucho, con mucho, con mucho amor, con mucho cariño, con mucho ímpetu. Eh, lamentablemente, pues anteriormente, pues la compañía Prepa, pues no, no le daba las herramientas, no le daba el equipo necesario para que ellos pudieran eh, desarrollar bien su trabajo. Eso es parte del problema que ocurrió aquí. Este, esto ahora, pues obviamente está cambiando. Yo he sido uno que desde el día uno he estado en constantes certificaciones, en constantes evaluaciones, en constante adiestramiento que no pasaba con la, con la, con la compañía anterior. Porque yo he visto tantos adiestramientos y tantos planes de adiestramiento hacia los demás Lyman, y, y, igual que a mí, que, que de verdad que es algo que, 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 que te motiva, te motiva a seguir creciendo. This long, arduous undertaking has just begun but the future of Puerto Rican power is in good hands. From what I've seen, the power outages are less. They're of shorter duration. They have definitely made great strides in a short period of time, and I'm gonna be interested to see where we're at three years from now. Puerto Rican lineman is willing to learn new ways, innovative ways. The Puerto Rican lineman wants to exceed in whatever capacity he's in. Therefore, I think it's going to be a real easy transition from what they had to what's coming. <laughs>